Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Burn here from Elliott Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook. Looking at this DXY on the daily, we got this ABC. Uh, not really looking at it like that. Uh, we can look at it like that, but that's one scenario, and this goes up and breaks the top. Um, there is a second scenario an A, B, C in here, and then we get the A, B, C up to this 100 fib block I was spoken about last week. And we look at this as the flat, and then we get an A, B, C. So we are getting very close to this 100 fib here now that I drew last week. So you will have to be careful if you're in the buy. If price does come straight through this 100 fib, give us a correction. Well, then we can load up on the buys to go and break the top. Um, until that happens, this may come up to this 100 fib or even fall over from here. Give us a sell setup. If you get a sell setup, well, you can look for the 100 fib of the A, B, C. So we're at these critical levels now on the DXY. H4, we do have the bearish divergence. We had it last week as well. Um, so you have to be very careful buying into this. Um, for the sell, I'd be looking for a nice uh, impulse down and a sell setup. If we get a sell setup, you can definitely look for like five down. And for the buy, you really need to wait for a bullish setup um, for the buy as well. Um, I wouldn't be buying up here. I'd be waiting for the correction and then looking for the buy. So it will really depend on if we get a buy or sell set up, and it can take um, a couple of weeks. Hey, you on the daily. So we're looking at this A, B, C in here, and then A, B, C. The large impulse is going to be to the upside, so I'm more interested in the buys than selling at these lows. The H4, we do have a bear hidden here. We've got some sort of a like WXY, X2, and we're getting a Z down now. As soon as this low gets broken, we will start to get that bullish divergence. And yeah, we had that bear hidden. So I would be very surprised if this doesn't go and break that low. After this low has been broken, well, then we can start to, you know, wait for an impulse up and a buy setup, and we can look for that larger C up on the daily. So I'm more interested in waiting for something like this than, um, you know, scalping cells. EU. Um, like I mentioned last week, um, you know, looking at this as an A, B, C in here, and then an A, B, C, similar to AU, um, we're getting a larger correction, and then we get that larger C up. So again, I'm more interested in buys. <laughs> we can go and break that low. That's the thing. Um, it's definitely not out of the question. But at this stage, I'm, I'm looking at this stru possible structure here, and we go up and give that C up. We're nearly at that 100 fib in here. So, again, you have to be careful. Like I said last week, you have to be careful of this 100 fib if you're selling. Um, H4, we are getting this bullish divergence. So, again, you know, very similar to the AU. I'm more interested in the buy than the sell. If I get a nice impulse up, a correction um, or flag on this time frame, and, and then I'll look for, you know, five up for that larger C up on the daily. At this stage, there really isn't much, um, you know. Um, just starting to get a bit of bullish divergence, but that's about it. You know, I really would like to see you know, nice impulse up and then look for the buys. GU on the daily. Oh, sorry. Yeah, GU on the daily. So like I said last week, if I was looking for a sell out of, AU 
EU and GBP USD, I'd be looking at this one to sell because we got that ABC, we bounced off that trend line. So we got a nicer C up on this one. Um, and we have all that bearish divergence. So only looking for sells and like I said, I'd be targeting that 50 fib first. So there is quite a bit of room down. This was quite tricky <clears throat> to trade. We, we, we had a nice, uh, like one, two, three up in here, a sell, um, and then it gave another one up. So if I just zoom in here a bit, like this is where the complex corrections come in. Um, not many people teach how to identify these structures, the complex corrections, um, which I try and teach in my group. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we've got a three, three, a triple three pattern um, as a complex correction. So then we get the A, B, C. So it's not really a, a, a flat. Um, most people would look at this as a flat correction. It's not. It's a it's a three 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 pattern. Complex correction. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three in here. Sometimes you get one, two, three, four, five in a uh, three, three, five. Um, and then it fell over. So what we were looking at earlier on last week in the group, you know, we had this uh, like this A, B, C here. Uh, we're looking for cells. This one didn't get up to the 100 fib. Um, oh, I, I, I don't actually have it drawn on there now, but yeah. So again, if you're looking for a sell, it's very choppy, as you can see. You know, um, we're getting big moves, big move up. Uh, it's getting very choppy. So this may be some sort of a flat in here. For like an A, B, C. Um, yeah, it's not giving very nice setups to sell. This was the nice setup here after the C up to get into the cell and you on the daily so there's a couple of scenarios on this one as well um we're starting to break through that 100 fib so i was looking for an a b c which is fine um but we are losing that bullish divergence in here which doesn't really mean much in a correction but um this can turn like more motive as a like a W X Y X two and a Z down, possibly just breaking that low, and then we get an A B C. So um, we sort of broken past that hundred fib. I'm more interested in the buys though. Um, you know, if I get a nice buy setup, I will give it a go because, like AU, the larger impulse is going to be to the upside. Um, but it may may take a fair bit of patience to wait for this. Um, on the H4, we're getting that bullish divergence. We got that like W, X, Y, X2, and we're getting that Z down. Um, we're getting the bullish divergence now. So, you know, this may be the end of the wave C, that internal wave C on the daily. So if I get a nice impulse up, a bullish setup, you know, I definitely wouldn't want to miss this. If I get something like this, um, I'm more interested in the buys. We're starting to get that bullish divergence. So looking at UY on the daily. So I'm looking at that W, X, we're in this wave Y. Um, and we've got an internal W, X, Y, X2 and a Z up. Um, this still can, I'm sort of looking at this as like A, B, C in here. And we may get a flat, similar size correction to this here. 
get that Z up and that'll finish off the larger wave Y. And then we'll get that X2 and then the Z up. So that's pretty much how I'm looking at this. So again, I'm only looking for cells at this stage. Um, on the H4 though, we do have that ball hidden. So this wave here may not be over. This was quite sharp. Um, it wasn't much of a correction, but this was the correction after we got that high high here, you know, to buy. Um, so now we've got that uh, like a W, X, Y, get an X2 in here and we can get that wave Z up. We do have that possible ball hidden. So if you are looking for the cells, um, just keep that in mind that we may get a wave Z up. On the H1, it's more bearish. Um, it's could look at this as an A, B, C here and we get a flat. So we may get an A, B, C. If you're looking for this C down in here, you have to be reasonably careful and you'd be going right down onto the lower time frames to get in this trade for the sell. But you just have to be careful because it can be just an A, B, C and then you get a bull, bullish setup for that bull hidden on the H4. So, yeah. I would be looking at some sort of an A, B, C, possible A, B, C, and then you may get a buy set up to buy um, for that ball hidden to play out. UY on the daily. So, like I showed last week, when we start, it was still crawling up to this 100 fib. We're looking at that A, B, C, and then we're looking at the larger A, B, C. Um, we are still creeping up here, but it's, it becomes risky. We do have all that bearish divergence there. The H4, you know, it was like last week. We Even last week, we had all this bearish divergence here. Um, so it does start to get risky. Um, you know, you may get... If you're buying up here, you're just scalping, keeping very tight stops. Um, like I said last week, you know, you definitely want to be watching this 100 fib here. If we get up to this 100 fib and you get a nice impulse down, the cell set up will, you know, don't miss the cell. For well, that larger, you know, that larger C down. This A, B, C. We want to, don't want to miss this. Uh, looking at the CAD... This is quite interesting. Um, it's It's gone past 100 fib like I showed last week um, in this little A, B, C here. But if I just zoom out a bit, we had that time factor here in the X2. So this definitely could go up and break the top up to that one, uh, 123.6 and the 161.8. These two targets here for that wave Z. So I'm looking for that like W, X, Y, X2 and that Z up, up to the first target and the second target. Or there was a second scenario where this was a A, B, C and we fall over there for an A, B, C and then we get that larger C up. Pretty much ruled that out last week because, you know, we already got past the 100 fib like that, the 100 fib here. Um, so, yeah, now I'd be looking for a correction and a buy. Um, this one, like I have mentioned last week, this was very difficult to get in on the bottom at the bottom here. Um, because we had such a large correction in here, but we've got a WX. We're getting a wave Y. You really need to wait for this X2 over here, um, and then we can look for another one up. Really, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a ball hidden um, in the following weeks. Um, I'd be waiting. I mean, this is a H4 time frame, so this can take a, at least a couple of weeks um, to get that X2, and then we look for that wave Z up. If you're looking for the cell, um, if you're looking for the cell, you'd be targeting the 
So I just put that on there. So you'd be if you're looking for a cell, if you get a cell set up, well, you know, you'd be first targeting that thirty-eight point two. Um, yeah. Last week I sort of was looking at an A, B, and we get a C down in here for the flat. Um, it kept on going up. So either way, I really need to see a correction complete before I look for the buy. So really, if you're trading CAD, you'd be sitting on the sideline unless you're looking for the sell. And there is no sell on it at this stage. No, there's no sell on it at this stage that I see. Uh, the Swissy. Now, there is two scenarios like the EU here as well. This may be an A, B, C, and we get like an A, B, C for a larger flat before we get the A, B, C. And that's definitely possible um, because of how slow this is moving up. Um, I was expecting, like I've got it drawn and been looking at it for ages, an A, B, C. We never got anywhere near the 100 fib. But... Um, I was just looking for the buy. Unfortunately, this is very slow on the lower time frames. The H4, pretty much like I said last week, you know, um, if, unless you're already in it, um, it's very risky to buy. Um, you did get, we're getting flat after a flat. So we've got a flat there and then we've got an A, B, C here. A bit more upside, you probably get another flat here. Um, you know, up to that 100 fib and then it may fall over on you. We are getting bearish divergence now on the H4 even. We were only getting it on the H1 last week. So, yeah, it's very slow. Um, it's You can really only buy it at this stage. So um, you'd be buying into this A, B, C in here. There's no bearish divergence. So you'd be looking on the lower time frame. And really, it's just a scalp, and you'd have to be careful of this 100 fib if you're buying. Um, if it, if price breaks straight through that 100 fib, well, you could keep it. But, yeah, at this stage, it's been very slow. EG on the daily. So this one may be complete now. So we've we've broken this low in here now. So if I just zoom in a bit. So we're looking at that A, B, and we're getting into the standard wave C down. So I was looking at that like W, X, Y, X2, and we get that Z down in here. We do have that bullish divergence now. We did break the low last week. Well, this week. Um, so now... We have that bullish divergence, so any buy setup you get, um, you can definitely look for a buy, and it may even go and break the top. Um, you know, so and this structure here, this A B C, can be complete to go and break the top. Minimum, you know, I'd be looking at like a 50 fib retrace of all this, so around here somewhere. Um, so this way, one may be interesting if you do trade this pair. This might be the opportunity to get in. Um, there's really no buy set up on that time frame. You'd really need to wait for a correction. We still haven't got a correction on the H1 either. Um, on the lower time frame, it looks like you've got some sort of an A, B, C. So, you know, if you get a little flag in here on the lower time frames, you could look to buy and get it to break even as soon as possible. Um, and, yeah, hold on to it. You may, it may go and break the top on the daily. Or at least get up to that 50 fib. Uh, WTI. So I won't go over all this again. We've got a low here. Um, on the H4, we're looking for a correction, a similar size to this over here. So we're in a waiting game. We're looking at that WXY, looking for this X2 
and then a Z up. It's got down to the first target if you're looking for the sell, that 38.2. But we still have this time factor here. So, um, you know, if we go down to the H1, we can look for a, a, some sort of a structure. We may be getting some sort of an A, B, C in here, and then we get the larger A, B, C to fill in that time factor. And then we get some sort of a buy setup to buy for that wave Z up on the H4. Looking at gold, gold's very interesting too now. Um, we've got this like A, B, C in here. Um, I do believe we do have bullish divergence, but looking at that, yeah, yeah, we do have that bullish divergence. That bullish divergence has held. So we any sort of buy setup we get, we definitely can look for the buy. Um, the problem is we do have a possible bear hidden here. So we've got W, X, Y, get an X to and a Z down. We still can get that Z down. So if you're looking to buy in here, and maybe just an A, B, C, and then fall over on you. So you, um, nothing wrong with buying this, but um, just be mindful that you want to get it to break even because as soon as this top gets broken, we get an A, B, just breaks that top and it can fall over at any time after this top's been broken. So there's nothing wrong with buying into this if you get a little bullish setup in here early next week. You can look for it. Um, you have to watch this trend line and like the 100 fib um, because, yeah, again, that ball, bear hidden may play out and gives you another one down before we get the nicer buy set up and, you know, the one to finish off that daily wave C down. But there's nothing to say that this wave here isn't over. We haven't got down to that 100 fib yet. So, you know, um, we may get another one down in here on the daily um just breaking the low or it might even come down to this 100 fib and then you get the buy set up but at this stage even on this h1 we get a buy set up you know definitely can look for it keeping in mind that you want to be at break even at the break of that top because like i said may just come break that top and then fall over on you giving you another one down before it does take off uh, silver, this is pretty much playing out how we were looking at it. Looking at this like A, B, C up to this 100 fib and then we get like an A, B, C as a larger flat or larger correction before possibly more upside. Um, yeah. So it, it has taken off. Um so we're looking for that A, a B, and a C. You're getting a little flag in here. You could look for that buy um, up to the 100 fib. I dare say, once this top gets broken, we'll, we'll have bearish divergence. So, you know, you definitely want to be taking half off at this 100 fib. And then if price bounces off the 100 fib or around the 100 fib, you know, and you get a sell set up, well, you can look for that sell to go and break the low. Uh, Bitcoin. This is going to be slow, like I said last week. This can, this will more than likely take you know, quite a while to play out and get a correction in here. But nothing's changed. I'm looking at that A, B, C in here. Ever since we got that, I'm looking for a flat, and then we get that A, B. We got an ex extended wave in the wave C for the flat. So we got that W, X, Y, X two, and the Z up. Now we're waiting for this. We're waiting for, and this could take a couple of weeks. Um, you're going to have to be very patient if you're trading Bitcoin because this will be very choppy in here, I dare say. I mean, there is a ball hidden here, there, but I'm not looking for the ball hidden to go and break the top. We already have wave Z up. So um, just looking, waiting for a correction. And again, like I said last week, this could take weeks. You know, um, to get this correction, and it's going to be quite choppy. Um, I would just stay out of it until we start to see like 
once you start to see bearish divergence in this correction, well, then you can start to look for your setups. Um, until you get that, um, I would be staying out of it because it's more of a sell. Like whatever's happening in here will more than likely turn into a sell. Um, if you're scalping, you, I mean, if you're scalping, you, you're you just looking for an A, B, C, get out, probably give you another correction in here, um, may give you another buy. You know, as soon as these tops are broken, you, you want to be taking half your profit off and, you know, you're just scalping all this. I mean, this can go on for a long time and more than likely, I dare say it will. This will take, you know, this could take a month, you know, um, to get this correction in here. Um, and getting on to Bitcoin, onto the, um, we, I heard yesterday that uh, we may be getting a BRICS uh, Bitcoin for BRICS. So, yeah, that may be something some of you are interested in if they bring it out. But getting on to S&P, we got that WXY. I'm looking for that X2, and then we can look for that Z up. Again, we're waiting for this time factor here. Um, and then we'll be looking for the buy. H4, we just got this one down. So we get some sort of an A, B, get some sort of a flat in here, and then we get an A, B, C to get give us that time factor and then we're going to look for the buy i dare say we're going to get some sort of a larger correction in the center here um this is quite sharp that's quite sharp so i dare say we'll get some sort of a correction in here and then we get an a b c um and then we get an a b c before we get the larger a b c so I'd be looking for some sort of a structure like that. I mean, you're trading in a correction. So um, the safest way is to wait for whatever happens in here. Say this correction that I'm looking at possibly happening happens. So we get some sort of a bearish structure here and then you get a sell set up. Well, then you have to wait for all this um, and then you've got to wait for this sell set up and then you could look for that C down. Um, and then you'd be looking for the buy, for the Z up. So very patience in the in the S and P. Um, I use pretty much playing how how we're looking, like an A, B, C in here, and then we get that larger A, B, C up to the 100 fib. I'll just zoom out a bit. So there still is quite a bit of room down to this 100 fib. And then, you know, if we get a bounce off this 100 fib or uh, a buy set up around this 100 fib somewhere, you know, then you can look for the largest C up can sell down to this 100 fib though if you get a nice setup i we didn't get a bear hidden in here um but this may not be over looking at it like w x y get an x2 and a z down i have to see if this has broken the low no it hasn't broken the low so this may be still some sort of a like a, B, C, A, B, C, and then it falls over and gives you that wave Z down with the bullish, uh, then giving you that bullish divergence. Um, yeah, it's really only a sell still. We don't have any bullish divergence here. It didn't give a bear hidden, so it's not real. Uh, it's not something I'd look to sell, but, you know, if you do trade this one, we'd be looking for a little bit more downside down to that 100 fib on the daily. Uh, the FTSE. So I'm starting to look at this a little bit different too. Um, I was looking at that A, 
B, C. This C never got anywhere near the breaking that top for that uh, regular flat. So it was a contracting flat. But this still can be some sort of an A, B, C in here. And then we get an A, B, C for the flat. And I'm still... I'm sort of starting to look at this sort of a structure and then we get the larger A, B, C. Um, yeah. On the H4, you know, this was your cell in here and this one's a lot nicer than the AU200 because in here we do have a bear hidden. So we're looking for that time factor and we get the W, X, Y, X2, Z down and then, you know, you can start to look for the buy for that possible structure I just showed on the daily. <clears throat> Get that larger C up, and then we can look for the even larger C down. But, yeah, at this stage, well, next week, I'd be looking for some sort of a sell for the wave Z down, scalping. Definitely want to be a break even on the break of that low. And then looking for a buy. Uh, the DAX on the daily. Yeah, we're only looking for cells like we have been for a very long time. This one's been very resilient and it's staying up the top here. But, um, you know, I'm looking at that A, B, C. Um, so I'm looking for the larger A, B, C. I'm looking for that downside. It, it hasn't happened yet, um, but it's only a matter of time and it will. H4, it's really, you know, this was quite difficult, like I mentioned, like this, the, the other indices gave a nice correction. This one gave a, a, an expanding flat for like an A, B, C. I dare say this is going to turn more complex too, um, and we get some sort of like A, B, C as your flat here, and then you get like an A, B, C. But yeah, this one is a lot more messier, the DAX. Um, but yeah, I'm really only looking for downside. I, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be going looking for buys when we've got all the bearish divergence. So I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button, share and subscribe, help the channel out. And uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.